don't get a lot of opportunities to talk about the Vegas Golden Knights for a lot of different reasons, if you haven't already noticed. There's a lot going on in the news lately from an, from a political standpoint, that is for sure. But uh, listen, I, I love hockey. I love playoff hockey. And I miss watching Vegas Golden Knights games. It's one of the luxuries of being a, a member of the media. You get to uh, cover the team and going to games at T-Mobile Arena. It's great. I never have taken that for granted. It's so much fun to have a professional hockey team here in Las Vegas. And yes, I do think it's just a matter of time before we get the NBA and Major League Baseball here. But the fact that we got the Raiders season right around the corner, uh, don't know how that's going to work out. But having NHL hockey in Las Vegas is great. It's sad that you know we don't get to see it right here in Las Vegas because this is such a good hockey team. The Vegas Golden Knights, they might not be the favorite to win it all, but certainly they are a contender. And what they did to the Chicago Blackhawks in round one, they dismantled the team. Let me tell you something. Crawford's a pretty good goalie. That Chicago Blackhawks team, they were one of the teams that were favored to win it all just a few years ago. I mean, the Blackhawks are really good. Yeah, they don't have Chris Chelios on the ice anymore. I remember back in the 90s, uh, those Blackhawk teams in the 90s were really good. But this is a really, really good hockey team, and the Vegas Golden Knights were able to dismantle them. And, uh, yeah, the Blackhawks were able to steal one game. But the fact that the Vegas Golden Knights were able to take care of business, well, it's great in a lot of different ways. The obviousity of it all is, yeah, you want to uh, advance in the playoffs. But now they have a little bit of time to rest. They have a little bit of time to relax. So that's certainly a positive. That's a plus. And they get to wait and they get to work on some things, get guys rested, get guys healthy. The weird part about it is that they're playing – in the bubble, just like, you know, similar circumstances to the WNBA and the NBA where they're playing in Canada and they're playing in front of no fans. I mean, we'll, I'm telling you right now, I, at least I hope I'm right on this one, we will never see this again in, in our lifetime. A playoff game in the NHL with zero fans. That's what they're doing right now. They're doing it in the NBA as well. It's just really weird. The great part about sports, the excitement about sports, I'll even go to the PGA Tour. It, it just It's really bizarre. It's really weird. And the bizarre thing is, is that, you know, listen, the players are still playing hard, right? They're still playing with a lot of emotion. But the difficult part about this is that, you know, as fans, we can watch it on TV, which is certainly better than nothing, but we can't go to the games and we can't watch it in person. It's not live hockey. I think NHL playoff hockey is some of the best live sports you can watch. I really do. So, but, but by the way, the Knights are actually uh, tied for favorite right now with the Colorado Avalanche to win the Stanley Cup. I don't know if I agree with that, yep. but uh, I think that has a lot to do with the fact that they're expecting that Vegas uh, people in Vegas are probably going to be putting some action on the Vegas. I, well, I think a lot of action's already on it. Yeah. So the guy we have this on the line right now, speaking of the Vegas Golden Knights, he's a Vegas Golden Knights rookie. Had his first goal a few weeks ago in a big way. It is Zach Whitecloud. Zach, thank you so much for joining us. How are you? Hey, what's up, Zach? I'm doing very well. How about you? Zach, doing great. So, uh, first of all, congratulations on your first goal and uh, the big win against uh, the Blackhawks in that series. I have to ask you from the start, how weird is it for you to be playing playoff hockey in front of no fans? Do you notice it at all out there? Um, yeah, I mean, some guys notice it more than others, right? But, um, you know, we're here to do a job, and that's to, to play hockey and uh, come out and get the job done, you know, for our fans and, you know, for our city back home. So, um you know, whether it's fans or no fans, you go out and you do the same job, right? So, um, but yeah, I'd say some guys notice it more than others. But, um, I mean, once you get out there and play in, it's kind of, um, you don't really notice it too much. So, No question. I mean, you guys were able to defeat a pretty good Chicago Blackhawks team. I'm, I'm sure you would agree and a nice come from behind uh, victory in that last game. Talk a little bit about that series and the grind of playoff hockey, how physical it is and, and, and how difficult it was to beat, a, uh, you know, and you guys were able to take care of business against the Blackhawks. Talk a little bit about that. Uh, it was a fun series. You know, they played very well and, um, you know, they stuck to their game and, and we stuck to ours. And, um, you know, obviously uh, it, it's tough to, you know, tough to sweep the series and, um, you know, especially in playoff hockey, it's, uh, it's very tough to, to close out a team. And, um, you know, they were bringing their best hockey. And, uh, you know, obviously Crawford was playing really well, too. So, um, but, you know, at the end of the day, we just stuck to our game and, and stuck to what um, our identity is, uh, you know, as a, as a five-man unit out there at all times. And, um, you know, when you stick with that, it's going to, you know, return, uh, you know, good things, right? So, sure. Um, sure. But, no, obviously getting, uh, getting through that series and, 
and uh, now shifting our focus to the next one. So You know, you, you don't sound like your age, I'll say that, and, and a lot of your teammates love playing with you, and, and the coaching staff loves you rightfully so. Uh, with that being said, uh, where you look at where you are in your life right now as an NHL player and a big part of this Vegas Golden Knights team, do you ever have to take a step back and say, wow, this is pretty cool? I mean, I, you know, I, I did what, you know, and I know you're still focused on a long career ahead of you, but do you ever uh, just take a step back and, and reflect and say, wow, this is pretty cool, man. I, I am uh, an NHL hockey player, and I'm doing this for a living. Yeah, absolutely. I, I do it, you know, almost every day where I, um, I always try to start my day off and um, try to remember that, you know, not everyone gets to, you know, do what they love every day. And the fact that I get to do what I love, um, you know, every day on the biggest stage and, and, uh, you know, play with the guys they do. It's definitely uh, um, something that I always try to remember every day and, and try to be thankful for as much as possible because, um, you know, there are a lot of people out there that would love to have this opportunity and, right. um, you know, you just can't forget one, where you came from and, and how you got here and, you know, those people that helped you get here. But, um, at the end of the day, I still have to go out and do a job, you know, for my teammates and for my coaches and, um, you know, whatever, uh, kind of helps me do that. Um, mm-hmm. you know, I'm going to do so, um, sure. no, definitely, you definitely have to look back, um, and kind of reflect, you know, whenever, uh, whenever you can and, and just realize that. Um, you know, you get to do this for a living and, and just how lucky you are. And, um, don't take it for granted at all. Don't take any day. Don't take any practice. Don't take any workout. Don't, can, don't take any time with the boys um, for right. granted, right? Because it can, um, in just like anything, it, it can be taken away from you in the, in the snap of uh, your finger. So um, enjoy every, uh, every step of the way and uh, have fun with it as much as possible. Right. Right? And that's what hockey was created for. It's created for fun. And, um, you know, you go out there and do that. I think, uh, and obviously, <laughs> do your job, but um, at the end of the day, make sure you have fun with it and then uh, go out and uh, do your job. So, so I, I have to ask you this. You're, you're a very humble guy, by the way. And by the way, you've earned it. You've earned where you are right now. We only got about a minute here. Is there any rookie hazing going on over there? Like, uh, is there anything like that going on in the Vegas Golden Knights for fun? I'm just curious. No, not at all. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's uh, and, and that's not me sugarcoating anything. There, there isn't. I mean, it's, everyone's created as equal and, and everyone, you know, has equal opportunity and everyone has, um, you know, an important job on this team right? in the, the 23 men roster, everyone has a job, right? So, sure, that's uh, awesome. you know, everyone, uh, everyone respects everyone and everyone knows that everyone's role is, is just as important as the next guy. Right. So, yeah. um, that's no, nice we're, to hear. we're a tight team and, and, uh, we go out and have fun and obviously, uh, we go out and try to get the job done every night. Well, that's nice to hear. Well, Zach, I do appreciate you taking some time this morning to join us. Uh, I know you guys don't know who you're going to be playing yet, but, uh, you certainly took care of business with Chicago. Uh, you're a big part of this team and, uh, so glad that you're, uh, you're a member of the Las Vegas Golden Knights. You got a lot, a lot of fans here in Las Vegas that are watching. Can't wait till you guys come back and we can actually watch some hockey live right here in Las Vegas. But, Zach, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Good luck uh, down the road. Keep it going, my friend. Appreciate you coming on with us, okay? All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate the time. Thank you. That Thanks is uh, lot, Zach. Wow, what a, what a really smart kid. And I say kid because he's so young. You know, he's, he's a rookie. He sounds like he sounds like he's forty years old. He sounds well. I shouldn't say that. He sounds a lot more mature than me. But uh, congratulations to him and the Vegas Golden Knights. And uh, I'll tell you what, they got they got a long road ahead. But uh, they certainly are one of the contenders to win it all this year. And uh, be exciting to see who they play next. My thanks to Zach Whitecloud for joining us.